So here's what I messed up on the hang printer build video. So after the hang printer build video, I posted a link to it on the RipRap forums and Torbion came back with some great comments and one thing I needed to change. Torbion mentioned that after he went to the worm gear design, he flipped the D gear sandwich over. So it'd go from looking like this to looking like this. So the first challenge this created is you'd have to rewrap all the fishing lines to go the opposite direction since you flipped the whole gear sandwich. You have to rewrap them because you still want the lines to be tightened by a counterclockwise turn and loosened by a clockwise turn. So lines rewrapped, gear back on, now onto the second problem. When I put the gear back on, the worm gear and the D gear were way too tight to be able to turn. While troubleshooting this, the first issue I found was I had printed the frame out of ABS, and ABS likes to shrink. This frame is actually a millimeter shorter than a PLA frame. So on with the PLA frame and we'll try again. I'm still concerned with the PLA frame and the heat of the motors, but Torbion assures me that he's never had problems with the PLA. Think of the disaster you'd have if the PLA started to flex during a 96 hour print because of the heat. So I rebuilt everything onto the PLA frame and I tried again. The worm gear and the D gear were still way too tight to turn. So now I'm thinking the gears were disproportionate in some way, like there might have been some elephant foot in between the teeth of the gears or something like that. So I reprinted the D gear and the worm gear in PLA a couple of times to make sure I had a perfect print. So now I set off with my perfectly printed parts and I try again. Same thing, the D gear and the worm gear are way too tight to turn. The Torbion suggests that I use a lower extrusion multiplier when I slice the files. This is a filament setting inside Slick3R. I took it from 1 to 0.9 and I tried again. This time reprinting the gears and the frame. So now I have new gears, a new frame, all out of PLA, and I try again. Still the same thing. The gears were just way too tight to turn. So now I'm starting to run out of options. Let's recap. I printed all the gears as good as I could. I reprinted all the gears and the frame with a lower extrusion multiplier, and things were still too tight. So the only thing left was the bearing that I used. The 608 skate bearing that holds everything in the middle. So as a last stitch effort, I ordered some new ones from a different company. So here's the result. I'm finally able to turn the worm gear freely and the D gear moves. You still need to be careful about how you tighten the worm gear onto the motor shaft. If you don't get the screws even or you get them too tight, it will cause the gear to wobble and that will cause the whole mechanism to bind. After everything is built, I still do recommend greasing this gear. Check out the differences on these bearings. This bearing came from AliExpress, 7.89 millimeters in the center. This bearing came from a vendor on Amazon, 8.1 millimeters in the center. That was just enough to throw the gear off. So there it is. Now we've changed to a frame, a D gear, and a worm gear that are created out of PLA with a 0.9 extrusion multiplier, a different 608 bearing, assumably higher quality, that came from a different vendor, and we have the D sandwich gear flipped over in the correct direction and rewrapped. So hopefully that's the last speed bump with this build and we can continue on with our calibration and first print video. I'll leave some links in the description below with some things that I updated. And as always, thanks for watching.